My name is Milan Pernek. I'm forest entomologist, and I want to talk about bog beetles and climate change. Well, bog beetles are a very popular topic at the moment around the world, especially in North America and in Europe, where some beetles cause huge problems in the forests. Well, I want to talk about bog beetles in the Mediterranean region um, and Mediterranean forests. Uh, well, they are linked to climate change. Uh, rising temperature and increasing drought frequency. This causes some imbalance in the forests, and uh, that means some changes in the biology of uh, the bog beetles. Sometimes uh, those changes are very dramatic. And I can show you some very good example from North America. You see here the infestation uh, of a uh, mountain pine beetle, Venectoma ponderosa, on a huge area. And this was possible because this beetle penetrate in regions in which it was impossible before because the temperature was too low. Uh, this is a clear example of what happened when bog beetle take advantage of climate change. And as you can see, the results are huge infested areas. Uh, in uh, North America, it, it is about 150,000 square kilometers. Uh, and uh, uh, it is something that was never seen before. It is a surface area like Croatia, Slovenia, and Austria together. So really, really huge. And uh, why so much damage? This is uh, quite easy to uh, explain. Well, we, on the one hand, we have trees which need to grow about hundreds of years. That means they couldn't respond so fast on changes, especially climate change, which are very fast. Uh, on the other hand, we have uh, beetles which have more generations per year. So they're quite, quite fast to respond on changes. And they are uh, producing even more generations per year. And this is exactly what happened. So, um, and we have a good example from Croatia. Uh, in a few, last few years, we have huge problems with the Orthotomicus erosus beetle. It's the Mediterranean bug beetle. Uh, and it never uh, caused so, such problems before in the history. And you can see what happened with the forest if the intervention comes too late. We have 50% of the forest destroyed. So, um, so what we can do, um, how to mitigate catastrophic effects of climate change? But there is something what we can do, and uh, early detection is very important in that. So we need active surveillance and passive surveillance. Active means regular field inspections of, by professionals, and passive means citizen science. And I will explain that uh, in short. So uh, surveillance uh, is done by special trained staff, and we, we need to use some other staff, like arborists, well, because these um, professionals uh, uh, maintain trees uh, in the urban, urban areas, but they can also uh, do it, the job for the forest. Um, and we need clean cadaster application, which reduces the, resist, the risk of spreading trees and pests and diseases. So uh, the other thing is uh, citizen science, that means we use citizens, interested people, uh, enthusiastic people, which uh, could do the records. Uh, that means uh, they use applications like EASIN, uh, which need uh, some adaptation for this work. Uh, we can organize uh, citizen participation courses and uh, develop some new application for that, or together with the citizens. So. Um, it is very important that we early detect the problem and uh, the mitigation could be uh, successful. So thank you very much and uh, bye.